Hello, poopy Nebraska spillway that leads to another spillway that leads to another spillway that leads to a creek that leads to a spillway that leads to some fish. Hopefully, how the hell are you today? My name is Josh, and I am back. I am uh, not on a trip anymore. I've been taking a lot of trips this year, not very far, a couple hours here and there, to places that are a lot better. It's making me realize how shitty Nebraska fishing really is and how incredible it is that I've managed to accomplish what I've accomplished in a place such as this. But uh, yeah, didn't have a ton of time today, so we're staying close to home. We're hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Hopefully we can catch some stuff and things, but how? What is going on, you dirty old stash bags? It is me, and like I said, I am back close to home, 30 minutes from home. It's pretty close, and um, yeah. Fishing this uh, spring has been phenomenal for me, about two and a half, three hours away, in a couple different directions, but. We're gonna try to stick it out today. We're gonna erase all of those memories of the other places that were great and just, uh, yeah, expect nothing. Hope for something. And uh, the potential is here. They just aren't, this isn't as stocked as well as some of the other places. And by not stocked as well, I mean not stocked at all. It's just random fish that get pushed in here and just native fish that live here. But we're going for wipers, white bass, saugers, walleyes, flatheads anything that'll eat a lure we do have crawlers in the truck but we're gonna try to hold off but anyway come along with me it's been the next three or four hours big white bees sometimes here so we're gonna try here first someone was down the way so we're gonna give them their space and maybe we'll try that here in a little bit too but come along with me pray for me hopefully we can get something done close to home stuff thanks pa yeah oakley doakley do you could probably guess it but we're starting with baby whale because i've pretty much caught every single fish that's worth the damn this year on the baby whale discount code stash six cents fishing three inch pro shad and three sixteenth finesse head in gill color did i say discount code stash anyway six six medium light tons of them in stock i'm not sure what the hell happened but there was an overstocking of them but i view it as a good thing because the 6.6 medium light's my favorite. I can do anything with it, you know? If I want to switch over to gold eyes, fish for crappies, I can. If I want to throw like a lipless, I can just do anything on this, you know, little square bills. It's like the best creek fishing multi-species pole of the bunch. So yeah, check them out. Not to get too spammy, but I've kind of, kind of like never brought up merch ever. So I'm going to be bringing it up a lot lately and uh, check out merch. Uh, if you order merch before June 30th, you have a chance of getting a free 6.6 medium light stash deck. How did I do, guys? How was my, how was my sales pitch? Was it good? Also, subscribe if you're new here. We do a lot of fishing, not a lot of challenges, just fishing. Cool places, multi-species, road to 200k. Hopefully, maybe, eventually, should be doable. I don't know which rock I want to stand on. I suppose this one will work. This one will work. Got one. Got one. Got one. That didn't take long. That was way up in there. I don't know what I got, but I got one and it slammed it. Hell yes. Please stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Yes. 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 Five casts in. All whitey. In the shallow pool. This wasn't even the most exciting of the pools. Hell yes. Yes. <laughs> Man, I love white bass. I know some people got them like everywhere. <clears throat> like the places we've been fishing. But uh, yeah, I just enjoy seeing them. We're like 30 minutes from my hometown and I never see these guys in this same creek. It's just, God, that's a good one. How big is that? Look at his blue fins, baby whale. Three inch pro shad, three sixteenth ounce finesse head, white bass. That's a good white bass. For anywhere for anywhere there's one here there might be more here I hope there's more here that one made his presence be known though I made I made it up in that Russian water and he bam 
bamboozled it. Now let's see if the bigger, prettier, broken striped, angrier friend is up there. But if not, I'm honestly just fine with a bunch of white bass. And honestly, if I don't get that, I'm honestly fine with just anything that eats a baby whale. Any thing. Or just lures in general, you know. We're just focusing on lures. Lures get you better bites generally. So we're gonna have to get real desperate on the crawlers, for the crawlers, to use the crawlers, to be a crawler. All right, well, we just got the one here, 30 minutes. Baby whale survived. I've been losing a lot of them lately, so. Having one last 30 minutes in the places I fish is pretty good. Pretty good, we're gonna go down to the bridge and see if anyone's there anymore. And if there is, then find somewhere else to go, you know? Can't let it bring you down, just gotta keep moving, keep looking. Plenty of spots for everybody. I wish everybody would clean up their trash. I really need to just put a bunch of trash bags in my truck, but I clean up all this trash, so there'll be more tomorrow. Not a, probably not a good way to think about it, but I don't have a trash bag anyway, so there's no other way to think about it and stuff. There's some extra water in here for sure, eh? Hmm. Got something. Got something. Got something got something took a little bit at the bridge but whatever this is is big big dog i didn't even know what happened just threw it out let it hit bottom and he was there come here buddy be a wipey be a wipey it's not really fighting like a wipey but it's big enough to be a wipey there's wipey-ish. I don't think he's quite woke himself up yet. The water's still pretty cold, so. Still could be a wipey. Please wipey, please wipey. Getting ready to give up on this spot, but the water's kind of clean and the water's high. Like, that should be a good thing with all the drought stuff we've had going on these days i mean this is up like me and boo normally stand on those rocks so i thought it would have to be good but i probably made about 100 casts down here so far without any results thinking about moving down down creek and it's still a thought in my mind depending on what this is it's starting to act more and more like a uh carp in the tail or something i hope it's not but that's what it's acting like that is what it's acting like you know i should probably be a good youtuber and be like oh my god it's gotta be a flathead it's the spillway monster but i call it how i see it and this the way i see it is this is probably a snagged carp literally the least exciting thing it could be but it's kind of cool seeing old pumpkin spice latte in this semi-clean water. We don't get a lot of semi-clean water. And even though it's a pumpkin spice latte carp, it's still cool to see a fish in Nebraska swimming around below the surface two inches. They are pretty critters. And we've done a good job at avoiding them this year, but I guess today, we're not avoiding that one. Oh, he soaked me, I deserved it. I deserved it. I don't know if I need to use just a heavier head. I'm just not really getting to the bottom. The uh, burn it retrieve up at the falls did not work for a white bass or a wiper or a sauger, which I've got in the past doing this. I either need to just move on or put on a heavier jig head or something, I don't know. Hammered. Absolutely hammered. 
Big fish. Big fish. Absolutely hammered it. Am I recording? Yes. Big fish. Not a white bass, not a carp. It's either a wiper or a drum, maybe. I don't know, but it slammed it. <laughs> Just had to slow it down a little bit, you know? Just slowed it down a little bit. Just hopping it on the bottom. I think it's a wiper or a big wall. It's kind of acting like a walleye. It's a walleye. It's a monster, though. Really, really need this fish. <laughs> We've been at it for a good while. And it hasn't been exactly lights out fishing. But it is middle of the day. It's a big walleye. I think. Nope, it's our buddy. <laughs> I'll take his ass. <laughs> Dude, it is so f***ing hard. <laughs> Holy shit. I would take this almost over a walleye. How many drum have I caught this year? Zero? I don't know. I've got way more walleyes than drums. And that dude absolutely throttled the baby whale. And he's like kind of big, you know? I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> kind of mangled my whale, but hell yeah. Alrighty. I'm not even sure if I'm in the camera view, but that's a pretty good drum, bud. 22 incher, five pounder, much larger and much fatter than I usually catch. And I haven't caught a lot of these guys this year. And I personally like them, you know, hit like a walleye, fought a little harder than a walleye. Some of them can be prettier than walleyes. This one's kind of not, he doesn't have the purplish hues. Like I said, I'm not even sure if he's in this damn camera. I had it on 0.5 though, so the chances are high. Drum bud. You're okay, little buddy. I'll see you later. You majestic, graceful little bud. All right, we're putting something together for the close to home thing. One white bass, one snagged carp in the ass, and biggest drum bud for a long time. Good while. <sighs> kind of just brain farted there. I don't even know what else to talk about. Yeah, well, let's just go make some more casts and stuff. And stuff and stuff and stuff what does and stuff even mean to you guys i've been wondering to myself why i even say it so much it's just a habit at this point <clears throat> Oh, ball sacks. Something booped you did. <laughs> Felt small. Still a boopty though. Still a freaking boopty. All right, I'm not gonna throw crawlers. I've given up on crawlers for the day. I've caught two trash fish already throwing lures. So like, I don't think the uh, crawlers are worth it, but I might throw like a little micro, even smaller swim bait. And that's one of the good things about this pole I keep talking about. No, I'm sure you guys have ordered some 6.6 six medium lights, I think. I think someone just made a boo-boo on how many they ordered, but... I can switch to a damn crappie jig with this thing, and it fishes great. Baby whale, crappie jig, cast master. I could throw a damn inline spinner. I could throw a micro jerk. I could throw a popper. You know, any hoodles. Maybe a smaller swimmer here just to kind of break down the water a little more, but... I'm going to throw the baby whale a little bit longer because of that absolutely throttled absolutely throttled we're figuring it out just because it doesn't happen right away boys and girls doesn't mean it's not gonna happen it's higher water than i'm used to and um yeah they're kind of just down river a little bit and they're on the bottom and it's deep out there what is that bubble that just came up weird bubble just came up this is either a drum or a walleye. It's a f***ing sauger, boys and girls. <laughs> Let's go. It's a pretty one, too. Don't come off. Don't come off. Hell yes. Ultimate fish right here. The ultimate for me. God, I love these things. 
I love him so much, I don't think I can kill him even. Hell yes. Is this a male? All I know is he's got bug eyes and he slammed it and we're on to something. We are on to something. Alrighty. Definitely one of the main target species. Definitely a keeper, but we're going to give him the pass. I really want to keep a lot more walleyes and stuff this year, but I don't have my stringer. That's the one thing I forgot today. So Bud gets a pass. Hopefully we don't get into him good, but look at his little gravel lizard head and his bug eyes and his spots and his splotches. Man, I love saugers. They're up there for me. Top five for sure. <clears throat> Look at his head. Why is he so muscly? And why am I poking his eyeball like that? What a jerk. Look at him just blending into the rocks down there. What are you doing, Sogai bud? Sogger bud, get out of here. Scram. Scram. Let's see if we can catch him again. We're on to something. Never caught him down there doing this like this. We've got three bites doing it, so hopefully we can get some more. Yes! Soccer and stuff. I'm not sure why I'm whispering. Am I recording? I am recording. Let's go see if Soccer Bud's still sitting there. Soccer Bud swam away. Let's catch another baby whale. All right, I'm serious. What the hell is that bubble that keeps coming up? There's like no current there. And then all of a sudden just a bubble comes flying up. I don't get it. All right, I'm gonna try something different. Instead of downsizing, I'm gonna upsize a baby whale to a 3 8 Give it a shot, you know, crash it into a bo the bottom, but it's not necessarily gonna work very well. Something called hang time, boys and girls, and sometimes when the water is cold, the longer the hang time is, the better. But we'll see if there's a dumb one out there that doesn't want any hang time. Try knocking one out with the big baby whale. And I just kind of want to feel a little more, you know? I want to feel how shallow it is. I want to know when I'm on the bottom. It might not actually get you more bites, you know? It might not get me more bites. People are always concerned with feeling the bottom. And, well, I understand, and it is important. Sometimes waiting a long time to feel bottom with something lighter is better than getting instant gratification on bottom, you know? Actually, you might not know, because I explained that like shit, but we're going to give this a try and go from there. Hammered on the... Oh, no! That thing slammed the big one. I was not ready. I was playing in my pocket. That one hit it so hard. <laughs> oh no. Now we got a piece of trash of some sort. That one hit it harder than any of them. Anything that's bit today, that hit harder than it. Now I was messing around in my pocket. I was snoozing, boys and girls. I was dazing off. Zoning out. <laughs> I fudged up, you know? <laughs> Holy moly. That settles it. I didn't want to stick to one area for too long, but we're sticking to this area for the rest of today. Gonna get my shitting boots on, get some different angles going. Try a couple different lures. Try not to lose any lures. And hopefully catch a couple more fish. Couple more fish. Alrighty, well, good news and bad news. Bad news is we only caught four fish and missed one. But we didn't have a lot of time. I gotta pick up the kids from school. So four fish plus a really, really good bite that I screwed up is about what I would expect. How did my sandwich bag get out here? I'm gonna pick that up, make sure I don't at least litter. But uh, yeah, the really good news is I lost zero lures. And you guys, I don't think, have seen the video yet. But uh, I got a video coming up that uh, I lost, I think, 15 to 20 baby whales in about two hours. And this spot's real snaggy. I usually lose lures here all the time, but I'm pretty proud of myself. I lost zero in three hours. 
But anyway, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I wish I had a little bit more to offer on this one, but like I said, fishing close to home, the spot's not necessarily as good for numbers as some of the other places I've been fishing. And I hope, and I think, that a lot of you will understand. It's called fishing, not catching, whatever they say. Bad choice to stay here for this long, probably, but they also say you don't leave fish to find fish. And apparently, there was no fish to leave behind, but in my mind, I would have been leaving fish to find fish, so yep and yeah sure to subscribe road to 200k thanks for 160k i love you stash stainers you're the best see you later step the thing about goodbye